Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. Today I'm going to be talking about the Jane Iredale brow pencil. And here's what it looks like. It's got a spoolie on one end, and it is a twist up brow pencil on the other end. So, start out with, I really do like this. Um, when I had done my Honest Beauty brow filler review, it was the only brow pencil like this, the spoolie and with a, a twist up pencil, the Honest Beauty was the only one on the market when I did that. But then this one came out pretty recently, and so of course, <laughs> you if you watch my Honest Beauty brow uh, filler video, you know that I really do enjoy this type of brow pencil. It is my favorite. I prefer it over pomades or any kind of brow powder. This is the way I prefer to do it because it's really fast and really simple to do. So I, of course, I had to check this out for you guys since I really didn't like the Honest Beauty one. Um, I wanted to see if there was something better in the clean beauty community. And this is. This is so much better. So the first thing I want to start off with um, when, tell, when talking about why this is better is the tip. So here, hopefully you can see this. The tip is so much smaller. It is so much smaller than the Honest Beauty. It is more on the size scale of the uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So what that means is that you can draw those really thin lines like to get right under your eyebrow to right above to kind of carve it out and also allows you to do fine hair like strokes if that's how you like to fill on your brow. So I love that. I feel like I have so much more control over this. I can put it exactly where I want it to be and nowhere else, which is perfect. Um, I'm going to swatch this for you here. I have it in the color let's see, dark brunette and I regret purchasing this color. So here's what it looks like. I was trying to guess online what color is my color, and this, technically, yes, this is the color of my brows. It does match the color of my brows. But because I have such fair skin, blue eyes, and I have some blonde like, highlights in my hair, I find that this dark brow is too clashy. It's a really big contrast against my fair skin, and it, I just don't like the way it looks on me. I normally like to go a little bit lighter. Of course, I need it to be a brunette color because that is the color of my brows. That way it does actually work when I'm filling them in and look natural, but this is just a little dark. So um, that's just my my regret is that I just got the wrong color. So I would definitely go with the one lighter color than this one uh, for my brow color needs. But the good thing about this brow pencil is it stays on all day. I have oily skin, you guys know this. It stays on. It does not move. It does not walk around. I don't find it like way up here or way down under my brows. It stays where I put it, which is perfect because, you know, I have long days. I'm sure you guys do too. When you go to work in the morning, you don't know. You might leave at 8 in the morning and not come home till 8 at night and you need something that is going to stay in place and this will do that for you. Uh, the one thing about this is the ingredients are not as natural as the Honest Beauty Brow Pencil. So, you, I always say you need to look at the ingredients yourself. I can't tell you whether, yes, you should use this product for the ingredients. Well, for something like 100% pure, that's very straightforward. The ingredients are very pure, very clean. But for a lot of other brands, you really have to look at whether you're comfortable with the ingredients in this. Yes, Jane Iredale is a lot more clean than most other brands on the market, but it's not as clean as something like 100% pure. So it depends on where you are comfortable with, what ingredients you are comfortable with using. For me, Jane Iredale is perfect. It's it's cleaner than most, and it doesn't. Their products don't contain talc, which is one of the main things I'm really cautious about, and also parabens. You want to try and avoid those as well. So this doesn't have those. So to me, this is fine. So once again, I would just recommend reading the ingredients yourself. I can post those down below so you can look at them. This is pricier. This is twenty dollars for the stick. Twenty dollars which is a lot more than I would like to be spending on a brow pencil, especially, I said before, I go through about a brow pencil a month, depending on exactly how much product is in it, but it takes me about a month to go through a brow pencil. So they're 12 months a year times $20, it's $240 a year just in brow products alone. Well, this is just in a pencil, so if you wanna use any kind of brow gel or something like that, 
then that's going to even be more money on top of that. So because of that, I am looking at some pomades. I'm trying one out from Root right now. So I am looking into other options. This is really nice for mornings when I am just trying to get out the door really fast. And I don't, you know, this has become my new go-to brow pencil. So when I'm in a rush, I got up a little late. I took a long time eating breakfast. I'm just trying to get out the door, go as fast as I can. I know I can grab this and I know my brows are going to look fantastic. I don't have to worry about it. Just very easy going, perfect. It's a, it's a no, it's a foolproof brow pencil. That's what they should call it, the Gina Hiredale Foolproof Brow Pencil. New product name for you guys. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and maybe a little bit entertaining. Stay tuned. After the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, me filling in my brows using this brow pencil.